There's so much to love about Maine. The people, the places, the food. And we're here to share it all with you. Each week, our team brings you the very best of vacation land. This is Maine Life. Oh, lover, I'll see you there. Waiting in the willows with your autumn hair. Oh, lover, I'll see you there. After many miles. Today, we're going to take a look behind the scenes of a popular winter destination and meet some of the hardworking people who make the magic happen. You get to be outside every day. You get to meet great people. You get to put a smile on somebody's face. You get to introduce them to where you live. And for us here, it's gorgeous. When you come to Sugarloaf, we hope that you have just as much fun on and off the slopes as we do. We love where we work, and we hope you love where you stay. Maine continues to surprise and inspire me. After living and working in this beautiful state my entire life, I continue to discover new places and meet a lot of hardworking and interesting people. Just one of the reasons I love supporting Maine Life. Each week, it takes us all somewhere new and exciting. Hi, I'm Andrew Silsby, President and CEO of Kennebec Savings Bank. Come into any of our locations and experience the difference. But until then, we hope you enjoy this episode of Maine Life. Thanks for watching. Each week on Maine Life, we share with you the people and places that make this state the way life should be. With four seasons to enjoy vacation land, the travel and hospitality industry not only provides fun all year round, but careers too. In fact, one of five Mainers work in tourism, helping in-state and out-of-state guests make most of their visit. Today, we're gonna to take a look behind the scenes of a popular winter destination and meet some of the hardworking people who make the magic happen. Hi, friends. Hi, Erin. Nice to see you. Welcome back. Welcome to Sugarloaf, everybody. Great conditions. Yes, looking forward to taking you out today. Let's go check with lift maintenance and see what lifts are spinning for the day. It's gonna be a great day. Yes. Hi, Sam. Hi, good morning. Good morning, how's it going? Good, how are you today? Good to finally meet you. Me too. From the first chair to the last, there's always something going on to make sure operations are running smoothly. Plowing, snowmaking, and grooming are happening overnight and into the wee hours of the morning. And then lift maintenance takes over before dawn to get the day started. We usually get here about 5.30, 6 o'clock. We go to each lift. We complete a series of pre-operational safety checks before anybody rides it. And then once that's done, uh, patrol does a line check. And that's when they ride the lift and they observe the towers on their way up, listening for odd noises, looking for alignment issues, and anything else out of the ordinary. And then during the day, we will respond to and repair any lift issues that come up. Our main goal is to make sure these lifts are well-maintained and safe for the public to ride. Right now we have 12 people. They range from first year mechanics to a couple guys have been here for 20 years. Myself, I didn't know anything about a chairlift when I started. My parents would bring me up here as a kid to go skiing. I was riding up the lift one day and saw somebody climbing a tower. I thought that'd be a pretty cool job. So that following winter, I started in the lift maintenance department. I don't know, something about it. I just like being outside and working on big machines. <laughs> Sam plays a very important role in getting this mountain open. We work very closely together in the morning time. I'm pretty much the dispatch at the top and I dispatch all these patrollers to you know certain parts of the mountain. We are checking the trails, making sure there's no grooming anomalies, you know, sinkholes that are opening up, anything like that. And we ride every single lift before the public gets on. And there's a lot of people that work really hard and wake up pretty early to get this place open on a daily basis. This mountain for the East Coast, it's a very big mountain, very dynamic, very cold mountain, and also very windy. So the elements that we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis can really factor into how we do our jobs. We have had you know, heavy rain followed by a deep freeze, and obviously that is extremely dangerous, and we deal with that a lot, and getting ropes up even, it can be pretty dangerous, I'd say, off of the steeper trails. I've also dealt with, you know, 100 mile an hour winds, trying to get across a cross cut in a whiteout storm, but that's why we train and that's what we're here for. And I wouldn't have it any other way. I am full time for the winter season from 
I would say mid-November to the very beginning of May. And then I go over to the Forks area and I am a guide over there in the Forks for Northern Outdoors. Some people find it hard, but I really enjoy the change of the seasons. I told myself that I didn't want to sit behind a desk forever. I enjoy it every single day. We are starting the day early, about to hit the slope. There are no lines. I have an hour all to myself, just me and mother nature, which never happens these days. To the lift we go. Sugarloaf is one of 17 mountains in the Ski Main family, all unique to our great state. Meeting me today to share more about the impact the ski industry has on our economy is outdoor enthusiast and executive director of Ski Main, Dirk Gowans. At Ski Main, we're a not-for-profit organization that represents the interests of the ski areas in the state of Maine. We do a lot of educational work with our ski areas to help our ski area employees stay on top of trends and issues that are going on within the ski industry. We have a national program called Sustainable Slopes, which is designed to help us with climate change and things that are happening throughout the world. We have programs that we work with with Efficiency Maine to help out and get our ski areas to get more efficient technology out here. Snowmaking, which you see a lot of at all of our ski areas and they depend on it, requires significant amounts of energy. And the newest technology uses far less energy and produces much more snow. Skiers in Maine each year have an economic output of about $480 million. That's a lot of important revenue that comes to these local rural communities. A lot of these places don't have a lot of other jobs to offer, so the state really relies on the ski areas and the rural communities to help support those people. I've been skiing myself my entire life. It's really a family sport. It's something for everybody to enjoy and all the generations can come together and enjoy it together. That's really unique in the world of sports and we want to encourage people to get out there. All right, here we are mid-mountain stopping for a little lunch here at one of my favorite spots to visit during the winter season, Bullwinkle's Bar and Restaurant. Some of my friends here have been bartenders and servers for quite some time, excited to say hi to them. And also introduce you to Sugarloaf's new director of marketing. She is newer to Maine, but she is loving her job and really settling in quite nicely. Here at Sugarloaf, we employ about 800 staff um, during the winter season, 200 of which are benefited full-time year-round. Over at Sunday River, it's more. It's on anywhere from 1,000 to 1,200 seasonal staff. Ski resorts can operate like a little town. You know, we have accounting, we have IT, we have electricians, we have property support, we have all these different roles. So even if you get into, let's say, food and beverage in a server position or housekeeping in the hotel, you know, there's a lot of opportunities to network and see what other departments do. And if you have passion for that, you know, we encourage that from a manager perspective. Hey! Yum. We have the Bullwinkle Bowl with butter beans, beets, pickled radishes on top of a bed of arugula. We also have the Reuben sandwich with sweet potato fries and the chicken torta with curly fries. Excellent, wow. looks delicious. And Jess, this is your first season, right? This is my first season up at Bullwinkle's. Welcome. Thank you. Yeah, it's an awesome place to work. It's right in the middle of the mountain. You have amazing views. Our folks are skiing in and out every day, including all the staff. It's truly one of the best places to work on mountain. Thank right. you. Yeah, yeah. Nice you're welcome. You. Place to yeah. meet you too. So one of the issues that I hear when we're on the road, especially in a tourist destination, is employee housing with all these new folks coming in. Yeah, there is there is a challenge with housing, but we do a really good job here, as do a lot of ski resorts. You know, if you're looking to purchase or rent, we have a community Facebook page. Our HR department, you know, has a lot of those resources available. So, um, so yeah, you need to be able to, to have those resources and be a leader of information. And some employee housing as well. And employee housing as well, yes. So do you get to eat here on your off days? Yeah, I usually make it a point to stop in. The idea of skiing right up to a restaurant and a bar <laughs> and then go out and ski some more is kind of, yeah, it's perfect. Let's dig in. Yeah, looks great. Mm -hmm.
Verlin City, we give drivers a worry-free guarantee on service. That means no surprises when your vehicle needs maintenance. And with our complete vehicle care, every tire purchased is expertly installed by our ASE certified technicians and includes free tire rotations for the life of the tire. And with two years of complimentary road hazard coverage, you'll have peace of mind for miles down the road. That's our worry-free guarantee. Berlin City. All right, it's time for ski school. Here we are at Perfect Turn where we have lessons, whether you're here for the day, the weekend, or all season long. We have kiddos from the age of two and a half, starting young, and we also have childcare over here, which we're really excited about it's as well. so beautiful. No eating the snow, right? <laughs> right. I'm gonna eat snow. <laughs> Whether you're a ski instructor, a mountain mascot, or a caregiver at any of the main mountain child care centers, these positions are just another example of a career path that is vital to the tourism industry success. Being a part of the outdoor industry, especially in Maine, is really awesome. You get to be outside every day. You get to meet great people. You get to put a smile on somebody's face. You get to introduce them to where you live, where you chose to make your home. And for us here, it's it's gorgeous. Good shuffle, shuffle. What we found in the ski industry, especially teaching, is the life skills transfer over. It's customer service. We're working with guests every day, whether that's a one-year-old or a 90-year-old, and you get to just have every type of skill you ever could imagine. It comes out and you get to do it. I was falling down every single time, but like when I got down, they helped me back up. I used to do Perfect Turn and they taught me a lot, like how to be a good person and not only skiing. But now since they taught me how to be a really good skier, I do ski racing and I'm very good. <laughs> good. Yeah. There's certain people that are built for seasonal, like we're not built to do the same thing every day. To fill my time before I became year round at the mountain, I worked in pool construction, so I've built in ground pools. Like, we do everything. I mean, to make it work in, in the outdoor industry, that's kind of what you got to do. Like you find things that supplement your work and what you can make, make happen. So I love what I do. <laughs> Are those your bears? I've worked as a teacher, a summer camp director. I've done youth programming and childcare. And when I wanted to move back to my home state, this is exactly the type of role that I was looking for. There you go. I love working with children. It means that every day is a brand new adventure. I come to work not knowing if I'm gonna get to build a fort or play in the snow or change a poopy diaper. Like all of those things are fun and exciting. You never know what the day might bring. And I think that there's something special about being right here at the mountain with the trees and snow and fresh air. It makes it not feel like work on a lot of days because of where we are. <laughs> I think anywhere that loves families the way that Sugar Love loves families, you're gonna find these pockets of non-traditional types of work. I've never been to a ski resort before I came to Sugar Love on my interview. And I think people think that in order to work here, you have to be this really exceptional downhill skier. You have to know a lot about it. You have to live the lifestyle. But we're really just looking for people with a great attitude and the right skill set. The first step is just to get in there, find an opportunity to volunteer, coach a youth sports team, volunteer at your church, get some hands-on experience with kids and find out if it's something that you really truly love and have a passion for. Bye. <laughs> there are loads of opportunities to explore that, especially here at Maine. For over 153 years, Kennebec Savings Bank has been a community bank for everyone. Whether it's providing convenient account access, quick and easy loan process, or supporting the community, our goal is to create lasting relationships rooted in trust and respect. It's always been about integrity and doing what's right for the customer and our communities. I'm Andrew Silsby and I invite you to come into a Kennebec Savings Bank location and experience the difference. Fresh snow, crisp air, Energizing, invigorating.
time together. Cheering, <laughs> laughter, joy. Plan your trip at visitmaine.com. Hi, Maine Life. It's Bob from the Kittery Trading Post. Hi, Bob. Hi, Aaron. Good to be back. How are you guys? We're having a great winter, offering everything you need for the great outdoors. This winter, the Maine Life crew is out skiing, snowshoeing, snowmobiling, and hopefully ice fishing, outfitted and ready to go thanks to you guys. But for those of you who choose to leave the cold for sunshine elsewhere, we've got you covered. Check out our website for upcoming events and great deals. Happy, Happy adventuring! adventuring. At Poland Spring, we've called Maine home since 1845 and are proud to be part of the community. Over the past two decades, investing more than $12 million in the place that we call home. Poland Spring, 100% natural spring water. When you have a history of greatness, you keep dreaming and go beyond what's possible. The new 2024 Ridgeline Passport and Pilot, part of our most rugged trail sport lineup yet. From Honda, Hitting the slopes or enjoying some great food and drink aren't the only things that this mountain offers. Whether you're enjoying a music event with friends, taking part in a marathon or fat bike race, or maybe you're here for a charity fundraiser. Events at ski resorts across our state attract thousands of people from all over and have a big economic impact on our communities. Welcome to the Widowmaker here at Sugarloaf. This is your uh, Opera headquarters right here with our rock star bartenders our stage with house sound system. Freshly renovated in 2019. 2019. Yeah, we use this space in the summer for conferences, um, wedding receptions. We've had a couple rehearsal dinners in here. We've had a couple weddings. Mega lunch business. Mm -hmm. Yep, it'll fill in real soon and the place is gonna pretty much be jammed till 12.30 in the morning tonight. My younger self, I thought of Sugarloaf just for the skiing. I didn't know about the, the other possibilities that it could open up. In 2017, I graduated from Thomas College and one of my last classes that I needed to take was an internship. So I was like, well, I'll try Sugarloaf. And I started in the lodging department. Never had done lodging, never worked in hospitality before. So I started there and uh, once I graduated, I worked in reservations and then that led to here sales. And now we're here we are. <laughs> look at us. We work way in advance. We're starting to look ahead to 2025 winter season. So it's, you're always a year ahead. And especially yeah. to make these larger events successful, a lot of people don't realize that there's a lot of behind the scenes. <laughs> uh, it's a long process. The bigger yeah. the event, the more goes into it. It's easily in the hundreds of hours in, in planning and, and execution, because that's a huge part of it. We also work with every single other department on the mountain. So you don't you just think events that we're there to execute them, but we rely on food and beverage for a weekend like this with the bars and for weddings. Conference, same thing. Yeah, in addition to the departments she mentioned, like it's resort wide for us. It's grooming, it's snow making, it's ski patrol, it's everything. A lot of the events that we put on are on snow. Uh, we might have special needs from the grooming department for features to be built. We have a big bank slalom snowboard race in March, so we end up involved with everyone, everyone. here. Everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it takes all of us. I love that every day is different. I always tell people, because we work weekends, and they're like, well, you must hate working weekends. And it's like, well, Saturdays, you're out on the hill, you're working these events, and I feel like I don't go to work every day. When you don't feel like you're going to work, you love your job. We get great feedback from our events and it's part of what sort of activates the resort. People come here just specifically for certain events that we put on. It gets a lot of new sugar loafers here and who have never been here. That is part of the thing here at Sugar Loafer. You'll see on everybody's name badge, mine says since 2002. Mm -hmm. And so it's like the first time you came here, that's your sugar loafer since and everybody takes pride in that, whether you work here or not. People that are lifelong camp owners, homeowners or whatever, they're sugar loafers and it's, it's a community.
Well, after a great day on the mountain, it is so nice to be able to cozy up at my home away from home, the Sugarloaf Mountain Hotel. At the heart of travel and hospitality, it's all about making sure people are comfortable and cared for. Hey! Hey, Aaron. How are you? I'm doing so well. How are you? Great. It's great to see you again. Was Thank the, you. Uh, the skiing good today? Slopes were amazing. You know, I have a toddler, so to get away for an hour by myself, conditions were great. Um, thanks for asking. It was awesome. That's great to hear. Uh, we have your room keys ready for yeah, you. Yeah, what a treat. Yeah, uh, breakfast in the morning. Mm -hmm. We hear that you're seeing Chef Jen and Andre tonight. I'm so excited, yes. You're in good hands 45 North, all yes, right. <laughs> nice to see you. Good to see you, have a good one. <laughs> the hotel is also home to 45 North Restaurant. You can't have a good time on vacation without a good meal, and the close-knit kitchen team works hard behind the scenes to serve great food in a way that seems effortless. I love cooking. I love trying to do different things, learning different things, and being able to do it in a professional setting kind of pushes that a little bit more. If you don't love it, don't do it. It can be very challenging. The people here that you're working with makes it much easier. Wake up in the morning, I'm like excited to go to work. I couldn't ask for a better team, honestly. I couldn't ask for a better chef. <laughs> I got to Maine from Jamaica on a H2B visa. I got married last year. That's how I'm able to move here, and now I'm living here with my family, working here full time. I feel very welcome here. The management team is awesome. Chef <laughs> is awesome. Like, it's like just one family, one big happy family here, and I'm loving it. I let him make all of the Jamaican cuisine and, and let him do specials and so forth and let him do his thing. And I feel like if I don't allow the creativity, it'll stifle what he wants to do. It doesn't entice anybody to want to come back to work for me. So it's nice to be able to have somebody as talented as Andre to help out, to balance my side of stuff out. And it's not always about me. <laughs> Every once in a while. Oh my gosh. So we brought okay, you our duck and dumplings, which is my favorite. Andre's favorite, the curried salmon with the Korean rice cakes. And then as an added bonus, we yeah. brought you our winter pepperdell pasta with rosemary cream sauce and pancetta. And also your favorite, my the winter favorite. salad. The 45 you, salad, you're very chef. welcome. Thank you, Andre. You're welcome. So you and I met, I don't even want to count how many years ago, but <laughs> you were actually working as a guide in the fork. Yes, when you and I first met, I was a raft guide. And here you are now working at Sugarloaf. Yeah, crazy, crazy journey. Day is still in the tourism industry. Yeah, proud to be a part of the outdoor recreation industry, hospitality, it's, it's a passion. Being able to raise my daughter here with my husband and ski with her and bring her up in a world where we're able to get outside, enjoy the outdoors, it's been absolutely amazing to be able to share my passion with her, but also see how all of our Sugarloaf community is able to bring the little ones up to become true Sugarloafers. What would your advice be to other folks watching um, that are interested in everything that Maine has to offer and can actually make an amazing sure. living? Well, Maine has a great opportunity outdoors in the tourism industry. There's so many things that we can love about this state. So I would say, instead of worrying about a career choice, pick something you love, that you love to do, and play, and therefore you're gonna find a great job with that. And our state is the best backyard to play it in. It is. This, I mean, Sugarloaf's my backyard. How lucky am I? Cheers, Cheers to that. Cheers, girlfriend. <laughs> We've had such an incredible day here at Sugarloaf. Thank you so much to everybody for the hospitality and to everybody in the outdoor recreation industry. Thank you for your hard work making our state so special. For more information on careers, internships, education, and more, go to tourismforme.com. Thank you everybody for watching this episode of Maine Life. You can find all of our shows for free on the New Center Maine app, our website, mainlifemedia.com, Instagram, Facebook. Thank you so much for watching. Happy adventuring, and as Sugarloaf says, see you later. We also have our child care center over here, which we're super excited about as well. Let's go. <laughs> Welcome to Maine. That's Maine life for you, folks. <laughs> Don't you dare, I swear to you. Don't. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> that wasn't so bad. <laughs> Okay. Happy adventuring. See you later. <laughs> I stole it. I stole it. <laughs>